Christmas is over, but shoppers are still flocking to cash in on the post-holiday deals. This after-last-minute spending sprees pushed U.S. retail sales up 4%, helping to offset a slow start to the holiday shopping season. All right, we need to break down these numbers. And MasterCard Advisors Group Head of Market Insights Sarah Quinlan is going to do that for us. All right, so so far, what's the trend? What, do, what did we see as far as spending over the holiday? Well, I think spending is extremely strong, actually, and it was consistent. And obviously, we had two additional days, but the consumers started early in the beginning of November and just consistently spent all the way up to the Christmas holiday. But the key thing is now they will spend in the week beyond because the key thing, she has time. And when she has time, she goes out and she goes shopping. Uh, okay, uh, Leah was trying to get in. Yeah, yeah, Sarah, uh, you were saying that you know that, that people continue to spend, but from what I understand, originally early in November, sales were slow, and that was because consumers felt like they didn't really have to rush on a deal. Did you see that through this uh, holiday season? Actually, no. It really was consistent through. We saw weakness a little bit post the Thanksgiving holiday period, but actually uh, leading up to uh, the Thanksgiving holiday, we actually did see consistent spending. The key thing to understand is the consumer prefers experiences over goods post the recession, and that's the bigger challenge is, is how do you create experience if you're selling a good as opposed to a trip or a restaurant meal, for example. What? No, I'm looking at me, buddy. That's what you wanted. That's what you wanted for your holiday. A trip. Yeah. A trip. Yeah, I want to go to the Caribbean. I just want to, I want to get on the airplane, <laughs> and I don't want to say I'm going anywhere for business. I'm not going back to sh cold Chicago. Love my hometown, but um, <laughs> I want to be one of those people that are like, I'm going on vacation. I'm going to the Caribbean. I don't know. We're still working on that. That's not actually happening anytime soon. Um, but no, I, I get that. Let's save our money, and let's go on a trip. So uh, I also well, want to... that's what we saw, actually, in yeah. November. Uh, air, airline sales were up 12%. Hotels were up 8.6%. So we actually saw that as part of the gifts that were being bought I get it. Um, pre the holiday. Yeah. And that, that was a sales pitch to Sandra's husband. <laughs> <laughs> Are you but lightning? So, so I, I also read that, um, that you, know, you always see people who spend on themselves during the holiday. And I'm wondering what you saw as far as the trend in terms of people going out to shop for their family, for their friends, but actually spending things on themselves. Well, this is something that has actually been increasing over time. And, and we see this, for example, in Jewish sales, where women actually are now the leading purchasers in jewelry. They're buying it for themselves. So one of the most interesting things is this consistency of, you know, I, I really want what I want. The consumer herself is actually in charge, and she's uh, expressing that in how she spends her dollars. Retail, Sarah, I'm sorry, go ahead, Jack. Sarah, I have, I have a... Uh, a, a thing that I do every Christmas, I hate to talk about it because I spend so much money, but I go to the store on Christmas Eve every year and I do all of my shopping. And I see that brick and mortar sales uh, rose the week of December 4th, but has been declining obviously ever since. Give me your reaction on that. <laughs> Well, the interesting thing is actually the data is a bit contrary to what we actually think. Um, online spending was up 18.9% over the period, but in fact, it still only is 8.6% of total retail sales. We still like the store. And, but what happened is because we had prepared and had a longer period of time to shop, and we're actually really are, are going online to curate what we want to buy, we actually go into store less and um, less frequently. The other thing is, uh, again, post the recession, we shop at about half the number of stores we used to shop at. So we're much more loyal. So that's why also some of the bricks and mortar could be announcing that they have a little bit down in traffic. So How much of that is, is, is geared from returns? Is that new sales or are we looking at returns? How is that um, put into the numbers? Because I'm not sure. I haven't... Well, actually, our numbers um, encompass both. And so that's the most interesting thing is we're able to really capture the return. And the returns are really important because we see that add on sale. And that's why the in-store experience is so critical for retailers to create because when people bring back that unwanted gift and the like, they actually then go add on to the sale. And that's why this period post the Christmas uh, from the 25th through the 31st is so critical to the retail year. Um, but it's, it's, it's absolutely true. First of all, can I just say I want to be on your Christmas list next year because he's sitting here saying he spent way too much money. And now you're telling us you did it all in one day? One day. <laughs> wow. Impressive. It's impressive. And, and I'm, the, I'm the bitter gift recipient this 
holiday season. Oh. So I will stifle at this point. <laughs> Probably a good idea. All right. Rather well, than seem like a self-centered person. Nick, I'm going to give you a hug. I don't know if you got gift cards. I got crap. There's still, There's still time. There's still time. There's still time, yes. Yes. Yeah, okay. yes. <laughs> well, we'll get you a gift card, David. Tell Jonas oh, to get back man. out to the mall. Oh, all right. God. All right. Sarah Quinlan, thank you for all that wonderful information. Uh, looks like the, it was a pretty positive uh, sales season as far as the holidays were concerned. Sarah, thank you. Well, and it will continue. And that really shows the consumer confidence. And, and they will continue to spend. And remember, that's 70% of the economy. So that's pretty good. Yeah, especially since, you know, my trip hasn't been booked yet. <laughs> Just kidding. Exactly. All right,